Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really wonderful Thursday thus far. And so uh, we're going to be talking about what is currently happening, of course, and models are still expecting that Gulf system as we're going to be heading into next week. So that is quite interesting and you're going to be taking a look at all of that. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss any important update all right and so as we return to this satellite imagery here off the Caribbean we can definitely see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity in association with a trough and so that is helping to induce so much activity for the northeastern Caribbean take a look at that recent blob of activity and there and where we have those white sparkling dots indicates lightning strikes so a lot of thunderstorms within the area so if you're in parts of the northeastern Caribbean uh, Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands as well as parts of the Leeward Islands it is a possibility that you're experiencing some inclement weather so you can share what's happening there or what's been happening in the comments down below but this is likely to persist maybe for the next day or so but eventually we're going to have all that convective activity dissipated and it is going to have a little bit of boost to that because we've got Got some dry air, some Saharan dust entering the Caribbean. So if you're in the rest of the Lesser Antilles and uh, especially as we head to the Windward Isles where we're not seeing too much going on, you might notice that it's quite hazy. So uh, that is because some Saharan dust has entered the Caribbean and uh, it will continue to stream into the region so let's take a look at that now this was the forecast for later this morning and we can see there is all that convective activity but we've got that mass that plume of saharan dust extending all the way from the coast of africa across the tropical atlantic and to the caribbean so lots of dry air within this region now as we're going to be heading into tomorrow there we can see that a lot of those showers and thunderstorms would be dissipating because we have the infiltration of all this dust and dry air a lot of Saharan dust infiltration it helps to weaken any convective activity and that is why uh, especially in the early part of the hurricane season when we have waves moving from Africa once they're infiltrated by a lot of dust we uh, we don't see much activity take place within them and then head into Saturday there we can see that uh, we have that dust continuing across the Caribbean and the north of the Caribbean up into the vicinity of the Bahamas but over in the Gulf of Mexico we can see that it is clear up to that point out now as we're going to be heading into the middle of next week models are expecting that we could possibly see something in the Gulf of Mexico not a strong system but even a weak one is enough to do some significant damage so we're going to be taking a look at what the models anticipate but firstly let's go on to the uh, total accumulated precipitation now this is from the GFS of course and uh, we can see here that within some of these areas uh, we have some of those lilac and purple shades which which indicates rainfall of over at least two inches and so this is the total between now and near the end of Saturday so some of these areas are likely going to be experiencing quite a bit of rainfall possibly even some flooding so guys please do not take any unnecessary risks and just stay as safe as possible the euro is in agreement with that so this is just going to be continuous as we progress into this weekend but but eventually we're gonna have this activity moving out and I mean the rainfall was likely anticipated for many of these persons here but of course if it is in a very large quantity where there is continuous rainfall to trigger flooding that is where the issue comes in but aside from that I know that many persons were longing for some rainfall act Activity. And so that is what is going on right now that shower and thunderstorm activity will be continuous for probably the next day or two and eventually it is going to dissipate. Now in terms of that Gulf system, so we're going to be taking a look at three of our models. We're going to be starting out with the Euro and so uh, as I said this is for around the middle of next week. These models here have been consistent and I think that there is going to be a chance of development because as I mentioned yesterday if you watched that video uh, sea surface temperatures are above average in the Gulf of Mexico and supportive enough to allow for a bit of development I mean major storms are not likely at this time of year but 
as we're going to be heading closer and closer to the hurricane season, conditions will gradually become increasingly favorable to support cyclogenesis. So let's look at what the euro has to show. Now, as we head to next Wednesday, there we have that low pressure area. So we can see it's not anything very strong, maybe a tropical storm at the most, making its way along the Gulf Coast and affecting states that include Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, the Florida Panhandle, Georgia, and into South Carolina. So that is what the euro model is expecting through uh, from around the middle of next week heading into next Friday. As for the GFS here, we have the model showing that low pressure area as we're going to be heading into uh, Wednesday. So near around the same time and it's showing something a little bit similar here to what the Euro model is expecting. That low pressure area, but moving into Louisiana, Mississippi, affected Arkansas as well, Tennessee going up to the Carolinas thereabout. So something a little bit similar to what the Euro is expecting. And then the CMC model is definitely showing that low pressure area area sort of a broad low pressure area though and in that case uh, where we don't really have a closed center a closed center of circulation it wouldn't be classified as a tropical cyclone if that happens and so at this point in time I think that if there will be development it is going to be a weak system maybe a depression or a storm at the most and in case you're not aware the first name on the list for this hurricane season is Arlene and back in 2017 when this list was used with with a few exceptions uh, Arlene developed on the 19th of April and and here we have these models expecting that we could possibly Possibly see something near the mid middle part of April guys so of course I'm going to be keeping you updated on this there is no guarantee that we will in fact see something and the National Hurricane Center hasn't given any outlooks just yet but if we're seeing this continuous trend as we head into this weekend and into the early part of next week there is a likelihood that we're going to be seeing an outlook being issued for a potential system and so that is pretty much it for this update video and so I hope that you guys found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions feel Feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weatherwise.